Hello, this is my second video log from Creative Design Week at Imperial College, where I've been supporting the team there delivering the creative design uh, course for the first year students. Um, as I discussed at length in my video yesterday, we spent the first day building uh, magnificent flying machines and using those as a way to demonstrate various techniques for thinking creatively and working together creatively in groups. The last thing we did was ask the students to set themselves a sort of series of challenges they wanted to overcome, tools they wanted to use to overcome them, and a process for evaluating their progress. They submitted those to us last night and this morning we had the chance to uh, see what they had set for themselves. It's really fascinating to get almost straight after you've taught something, feedback from the students on actually what they remembered. So when we asked them to think of what tools they might apply, only some of them remembered the tools that we'd been talking about only half an hour beforehand. So that tells me as a facilitator of the sessions that I wasn't clear enough in, in signposting those tools and I'll make sure later on in the week that I give a clearer definition of what those tools were. There weren't many, three or four, um, they were probably very clear in my mind, but not clear enough in the students' minds. So um, that's that's great to get that feedback, and that's something we'll work on later on in the week. Um, what's interesting also is that we were keen to see what creative challenges the students might face, but they talked a lot more about logistical and planning challenges, uh, which we didn't really give them tools to solve. Therefore, asking them to use the tools from yesterday to solve the problems they had found uh, was a little bit tricky for them. Uh, nevertheless, it is really useful to see what they are worried about and to help them uh, to try and overcome those challenges as we move through the week together. Now, they've been set their big uh, design brief uh, by Mike Cook now for the rest of the week. So they're going to be working on that. But um, I, along with the rest of the teachers and the, including the graduate teaching assistants, the GTAs, will be working with the students to help them work towards that deliverable. And with these reflective diaries from the students in hand, we can hopefully tailor our interventions with each of the student groups according to what the things were that they wrote down. It'll be a learning process for the students, it'll be a learning process for the GTAs and the rest of the facilitation team. And I'm really hoping to find out what the teachers found challenging about this approach and how we can improve it in future and also get some feedback from the students with the ultimate aim of hopefully creating some training for uh, GTAs in how to facilitate this sort of problem-based learning. Another update, hopefully, from me tomorrow. Thanks.